Now I will connect the house with the street cabinet using a 1x1 fiber cable. Jump into the sheet and we'll see there's a new connector. This is the number 2 which goes to the house. This is the number 1 which comes from the manhole. So what we need now is a 1x2 fiber which comes from the manhole. Open the splice box. Take the 1x1 one one fiber, put it down, let's align it nicely to the other part of the cable. Now we have the automatic splice box of the single fiber and we can put in a bundle here and say this is also a splice. Now the house is connected. If I jump now into the house I will have my optical pin here that I can move down to where the amplifier resides, press R to calculate and I will see this is the data which comes from our headend. Now to replace the amplifier with our micronode. What I'm going to do is I'll just select all the objects that I don't need anymore and delete them. In this case now our planning ends at this little piece of coax cable. The next step will be loading a micronode. There is one prepared already. This one shows a special functionality of AND. This is a object which actually consists of four different objects. You can see them change their color when I move the mouse over them. This is the fiber side and this is the coaxial side. So I'm just going to put this here. And we have a one by one fiber cable which comes from the outside and is connected to the micronode. So what will happen now if I press M to update the test points is you can see here there is signal again and if I press R on this pin I can see OK this is the signal which is coming in from the outside and it comes from CMTS port number 3. Now if I jump back out you can see there is still a lot of trench unused here and for this demonstration what we're going to do is add a pole and supply signal to a house using a pole. I've prepared the tiny little pole signal here that I can place there. And what I'm going to do is turn it into a worksheet. So now I have a pole. We can take the exit of the manhole here and look what we're going to need. In this case we're going to need another piece of our 12x12 cable open the splice box. Now we have the same situation on both sides and we want to continue the route in this case. Just gonna say this is not cut. Now back to the copy and paste functionality. We're just gonna copy this a few times. Copy this into a block and copy the block. Now our bigger bundles are all put through and now we're going to do the same for the single fibers. Say this is not cut. Copy this here a few times. Copy the whole bunch. This is how you do large splices in A and D. You just keep copying and pasting. On the end now, we're going to see the first two fibers are empty because they've uh, been split out to the first house. What we need now is to put the cable down here and down to the pole. For this, I'm just going to go and copy uh, this cable, connect it to this sheet, put it down in the trench. This could out so been done semi-automatically using different functions that we have in AND, but for this uh, demonstration we're just going to do it the easy way manually. In this case, now this is the entry point. Now it depends of course what you're going to do on the pole, but for our purposes here, for just a pure demonstration, we're going to do a splice box in here also and just splice off a fiber. I can calculate again to see what's coming in here 
and we see oh there's nothing in there why is this because i did not connect the fiber inside the manhole so we're going to take this exit and place it where it belongs down here now if i go back to the pole and click you will see that the signal now comes through it's rather easy to find these little problems or while you do it so it's no, not a big issue if this happens to you so what we're going to do now is take uh, bundle 1 fiber 3 pull it out using a 1 by 1 fiber cable and put this into the house this is just a drop cable so the placement does not really matter if you want you can of course add some curv curvature or some some other structure into it where is our exit here it was created so we're going to put it down here and our signal is there now the only thing left is we need a optical <coughs> bridge point connected to the other side so we have an upstream and a downstream signal that you can see here and since there is no location set yet, we're just going to add that by telling the object that it is a location, doing a database search, and we're going to say, okay, this is an area search, which, uh, how close can we go? And this is obviously house number 34, it's the closest address, put it in here, and the object now has this address, and if I press R now, you can see the start is the 28 and the end is the 34 for the downstream and the upstream is the other way around. What you can now do, for example, is to select the line and you can see the optical line starts here at port 3 of this EDFA laser. The whole line is colored, so you can follow exactly where the signal comes from and where it goes to. The same can be done from inside this house. Let's press J on this pin. And you can see the line is colored up to the micronode. 